What up guys, Astro Manny here back at it again with another video and today we're going to be looking at, yes siree, Misk, Crusader, Tumbrel, and Mariah. This is day three and four, basically May 19th to the 20th. That is what today is about. That's what we're on. Um, there it is uh, with my crazy zoom ins, but uh, yeah. So this one, honestly, guys, you know, isn't super exciting, but we'll go through it and talk about what it's about. Um, you guys know what to do. If you guys like this sort of thing, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell and that join button down below if you guys want to go the extra mile and support. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Uh, so, yes. So here we are, Invictus. This is day three, technically, when I'm recording it. But this is the second showroom. This is Crusader, Tumbrel, and Mariah, and Misk. This one will be much shorter than the first one because there's less to talk about. And we don't have to explain the whole event. You guys know what the event is now, and we'll go straight into it. After this whole thing that I talk about, there will be some um, showing afterwards for the showroom. So do stay tuned if you want to see the visuals. It'll just be music and a camera floating around. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, so here we are, Crusader Industries and uh, in all its glory, right? So Crusader Industries doesn't have the most military ships, but I mean, a lot of their ships are military, right? Kind of in some way or another. So the big A1, okay, not the big A1 bomber, but the, you know, the, the, the A1 bomber everyone's talking about, $200. Let me know if you guys are a big fan of the Spirit Series. I think the Spirit Series are some of the most beautiful ships in the game. Do you like the A1? Do you like the C1? Which one do you like? Do you, are you waiting for the E1? How cool do you think the E1 is going to be? All exciting stuff. Speaking of bombers, next on the list is the big boy A2 Hercules bomber. So if you want to pay that big fat $750, you know, there it is for you. But remember what I said in the beginning, guys. Do not buy anything until the finale. Hold on. Unless you're using store credit, if you're using just store credit, then go ahead and purchase whatever you want. But if you're trying to save a whole bunch and do a bunch of CC training, uh, CC chaining and make and, and saving as much money as you can, remember, wait to the finale and we'll talk about that when we get there. Ares Inferno is available for 250 You know, do you guys still like your Ares ships? Is the Inferno still good? I think the Inferno is still pretty solid for AI fighting. Um, the ion is very controversial now because it's turned into a charge shot So it's a little bit hard to land shots with the Ares ion So be aware if you are an Ares ion flyer or you're looking to buy the ship the gun has changed It is very different now, and it is very hard to land shots next up is the C1 spirit uh, Absolutely gorgeous ship. I think the best middle rounder all-around ship in the game um, technically the cutty black may be a little bit better, but uh, this ship is a hundred times more beautiful than the cutty black. So uh, yeah, C1 wins. Next is the C2 Hercules. I've actually picked this up. It only cost me like $40. I upgraded from another ship to the C2 Hercules so that I can do cargo gameplay for you guys when the cargo stuff comes out in 3.23.x whenever the cargo stuff comes out. So I will have a C2 to show that off for you guys. So I did pick this up. I, again, I didn't spend any money. I just used store credit. It does, so it doesn't matter when I use it. Plus, like I said, I just upgraded something that was already at 350 and just went to 400 So it was a easy no-brainer $50 store credit. The uh, next ship is the M2. Uh, this is kind of the middle ground in between the A2 and the C2. To be honest, I don't think this has a place. It, does, it All it does is add one extra turret, and I don't think it's worth it. Then you got the Mercury Star Runner. Get there safe, secure, and fast. Um, this ship also doesn't really have a place right now. Its scanning um, potential is not there. Its exploration stuff and, and secret ninja stuff that's supposed to be in the game is not there yet. Well, it's not supposed to be in the game, but that will be in the game eventually. It's not there, so the Mercury sits in the back seat for me now. Uh, it just doesn't have much implication into the game. And that's it for Crusader, guys. That's it for Crusader. Next, we'll move on to Tumbrel, I guess, because Tumbrel is second on the list. And Tumbrel will be short and sweet. It's a bunch of Cyclones, you know, Cyclone AA. This one shoots missiles. All these can be bought in game for relatively cheap, so I don't, I don't recommend spending the price tag on any, any, any of these um, V 
vehicles, like $75 for the Cyclone MT. This is the best one in my opinion, but $75 for something you could buy in game for like 100k or even less. I don't recommend buying vehicles with real money unless it's something really dirt cheap. So like the bikes that are $30, like sure, it's $30, but this is $65 for something you can buy in game for really really cheap same with all this right they're all the same then you got the nova big price tag of 120 dollars for again something you can buy in game for uh i think the nova since the price the price has gone up the nova is now like a good chunk of money in game so but still i don't think it's worth the amount of a ship you can buy a c1 with this price so uh yeah i think the ground vehicles need to come down in price Here's kind of the coolest thing for Tumble, right? They have the Ranger, but this again is a concept vehicle. This is not in the game. It is a small price tag of 40, so this is something I see that is like something sort of reasonable. But again, it's not in the game yet, so um, yeah, there's that. These are last year IEEs pickup, or no, 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 they were, they were Citizen Con, I think, how they came out, right? Anyways, the storms are have been buggy since they've been out. Um, I don't recommend them really. Again, you can buy them in game now, so I don't think they're worth the price tag. All in Tumbrel, I don't think it's worth the price tag when you can buy them all in game. In fact, you can buy every single one of these ships in game right now. So <laughs> um, there's that too. But I mean, some are more expensive than others, right? So then there's the Furies, right? This was last year's Invictus ship and uh they're still amazing i think they're beautiful wonderful ships i know the meta has changed has changed so the furies aren't necessarily top tier anymore but uh they're still awesome ships and uh i i love my furies i have i don't have the fury mx but i have the the, the regular fury and i have the racing fury so i i love my furies uh the new pulse only a 30 dollar price tag like i say that's pretty solid for 30 bucks i um I, I, especially if you get the war bond version it's only $25 so you know it's a good it's a good uh, investment for LTI token especially the Razor is a very very solid ship it's kind of a meta ship at the moment really really good um, I don't know about for 155 because you could buy it in game for like 1 million but you know hey to each their own and that's it from Rai right and Misk is even shorter guys so Here's Misk, the Misk Freelancer, 175 whopping big ones. I don't recommend the fris, the Freelancer Misk. I think the regular free regular Freelancer with the Freelancer Max is the way to go. I don't think the Misk is the way to go, so I don't recommend this one either. The Reliant Tana, um, absolutely amazing ship, and it's only $75. This ship is absolutely glorious. I do recommend it to ship to anybody who's wanting lots of firepower because these ships are monsters and a unique style and 20 missiles like come on Reliant Honda is an absolute beast guys this is probably the highlight of the whole freaking show of Crusader, Tumbro, Mariah and Misk I think the Reliant Honda is the best ship on this whole list for uniqueness and fun and then you have the Starfarer Gemini which has the special upgrade offer so this is the one that you can use to save a little money we can go and show that off real quick so if I was to click on this pulse here and I was to go into all the way down to the uh, Starfarer Gemini and you can see that you can save $20 by using the War Bond Edition so instead of the whole 310 you'd only have to pay the 290 if you did the War Bond Edition so let's talk about this real quick so, so far this is day three while I'm talking. Tomorrow will be a day four and they will have something there as well. But um, day one was the Polaris. The very, 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 very last dude was the Polaris, right? So day, day one was the Polaris in the upgrades. And then day two was the Constellation Aquila. And day three is now the Starfire Gemini. So if you were going to do this CC training, CC chaining at the finale, 
Um, right now there's only three ships, but you would buy the Constellation Aquila at its war bond price, which is no longer available at the moment, obviously, but it will be back for the finale, right? So you would buy the Constellation Aquila for the war bond price, and then from there you would have the Constellation Aquila. And then you would buy the Starfarer Gemini for its war bond price, see? And then from there you would go all the way down to the... Uh, Polaris and you would buy that war bond price again we will go over all this as more and more come out but that's that that's the gist of this and uh it still took a whole 10 minutes to explain that because I went through and talked about each and every ship and I think I actually covered this a lot better than last time around so um yeah you guys know what to do smash the like button comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already I'll leave a showroom tour at the back of this if you guys want to see it and maybe I'll make the showroom tour a whole separate video anyways. We'll see. I don't know. But you guys know. Um, I know this is kind of very monotone. But I think it was nice. I think it was nice. I'll see you guys around. This is Asher Manning setting off. Have a wonderful day. And adios.